So one interesting thing, so I actually started my, my pharmacy career actually as a pharmacy technician um, before I decided to uh, go to pharmacy school many years later. And it was very interesting at the time, uh, this actually predates USB 797 and some of our minimum standards that we have in place today, just about how little technology was implemented in the workflow process. Things were very manual, but I was very aware of the risks that the things I were doing, that if I were to contaminate something or mix something the wrong way, it could have devastating consequences. And so that never, of course, set, set well with me, especially when you start looking at outside of healthcare and other industries that are extremely technology heavy. And so I always make a comparison to the grocery store. So the grocery store has this self-checkout machine, and we probably take it for granted, but it's quite complex in all of the technologies that are there, integrated, uh, easy to use, and the things that they are intended to do work very well, all right? Now, with these self-checkout machines, there's barcode scanners to make sure that we're you know, identifying that we're buying the specific box of cereal and it's grabbing that UPC code and identifying that specific box correctly so it can charge us the right price, right? That's their, what's in it for me. Uh, we have scales, so as you're grabbing your oranges so you're not overcharged or undercharged, but you're charged precisely the right amount by the weight of your oranges or apples or, or whatever it may be. You have a secondary scale that as you put it in the bag, make sure that it gets to the right spot so you know, that everything gets scanned in that process. You have wireless payment, you have video recording, you have photometric verification. These things are quite complex. And yet it's installed in a grocery store where we're buying apples, oranges, and cereal. And so in many ways, it kind of was interesting to me. It was like, why do we not have that level of sophistication and technology in areas where we're making these very dangerous medications that are going into people's veins, uh, into their eyes, into their spines. Why don't we have that same level of sophistication in the pharmacy department? And so for me, I got really passionate about how do we understand the barriers to the adoption of technology and recognizing that if the grocery store can figure out the ROI and the benefits for it and, and, and afford it and implement it and install it and be very successful, pharmacy can too, right? Um, so it takes somebody just kind of making some of those connections and recognizing how can we work together to break down those barriers. We have workflow software today, but because it's piecemealed, um, I think having this integrated is going to take us to another level. Being able to implement P um, Gravimetrics, we have a full pediatric hospital, so I'm super excited um, about the opportunity to implement Gravimetrics there to start with. So, um, I mean, how can you be more secure than with, with Gravimetrics? They've thrown the word of Frankenstein out a bunch today, and I feel like that's literally what my system is. It's a laptop here, and the laptop breaks sometimes. We have a, a camera that works sometimes. Um, sometimes we have other issues with, with other aspects of our hoods, and so it's having kind of an all-inclusive package, I think, would be incredibly helpful just to have that tool and have everything right there self-contained in the ISO 5 so that we're not constantly going in and out like we have to today. Again, my goals then of having that kind of all-in-one system would be to fully adopt all things that, that Epic has, has put out there into the market of here are the, the five different aspects of, again, photo capture, dispense prep, dispense check, gravimetrics, having kind of all of those things live in synergy and doing them consistently is I think kind of my vision and goal, especially with SmartHood, having those all right there at your fingertips makes a world of difference versus me having to hunt down a scale person, a, a camera person, and all these other people to bring these systems together. It's like, you've already done the work, so why don't I just take advantage of that, get the full benefit of the safety profile that, that Epic has to offer through the equipment produced by GermFree. So at Baptist South Louisville, we just opened a level three NICU recently and with that comes a lot of pediatric and neonatal compounding needs and for us to have the ability to really see the product during the verification phase to ensure it is what we say it is um, that's a gap for us and we're looking forward to with a smart hood taking that gap closing it and making the pediatric care as safe as it can be it's very impressive I think it really does a lot to 
bring the balance of accuracy with efficiency to help us better serve our patients. So having everything right there at your fingertips, maintaining aseptic technique the whole time, um, while incorporating all of our safety features and you know our optimization of the product is really just an incredible opportunity. So a lot of this technology is brand new for us. Um, we currently don't have cameras in our serial compounding arena um, or gravimetrics. So I think those two things are gonna help us escalate our technology. And then there's a lot of convenience things. Having the labels print directly inside the hood, I think is going to save some time as well as increase the safety that you're not having um, as much possibility for a label mix up and end up delivering the wrong medication to a patient. I do think it's the future of sterile compounding is having all of that technology integrated um, and having a company pull all of that together. And once we can really scale it up to serve a hospital of our size even better, um, I think it'll be really helpful. Seems like with the smart hood, with everything integrated inside, it's gonna it's gonna be more of a one-stop shop for the technician when they're doing that compound, so that um, they do not have to break their sterile field as often. Um, surely there'll be a, some things from time to time, depending on the type of compound and this and that, but um, it should make it a lot more streamlined, a lot more efficient for the technician. So us to potentially reallocate um, or. Uh, kind of reinvent the way we use some of our pharmacists and so right now uh, not having any sort of uh, IV workflow we have pharmacists just in the clean room uh, doing mid prep and final checks uh, on, on our every dose uh, in the moment so I've got two pharmacists always doing that and so having something like smart hood would allow us to potentially uh, use our pharmacists uh, in a different way uh, if they're able to watch remotely uh, through you know video feed camera feed check a gravimetric report uh, and use some of the EPIC functionality more, uh, more functionally. Um, that may allow us to use our pharmacists in a different way and be more efficient with them. One of the biggest challenges for us is the manpower related to the, I, the IT lift that's required with a lot of IV workflow um, software integrations. So even with ours, we currently use EPIC that the amount of time that it takes to maintain that, to maintain the drivers, to link between all of the various pieces that we try to use, uh, I think that's one of our biggest challenges is just keeping that manpower up on the, the IT side to keep everything operational uh, and to implement all of the new features that are added with each upgrade. So I think the thing that I am most excited about is the uh, labels and being able to print labels at the right time within the process. So we have a, a huge potential right now for errors in labels being um, misapplied, applied in the wrong place, applied um, at the wrong time and particles be generated. Uh, so to have the option to be able to apply a mid-process label um, when all of that software is fully available, I think will be a huge win for us. You know, when we look at our data, we look at our quality data, you know, it's imperfect. You don't have a full picture of what errors are you missing, what errors do you not fully realize. With this technology, we're going to be able to capture that product from start to finish. We're going to have images, we're going to have the gravimetrics from the weight, and it's really going to give us a deeper quality picture of what we're actually providing to the patient because as we know, anybody can walk through that door. It could be us, it could be a family member, and we want to treat everyone like their family. And th uh, It's awesome. Yeah. yeah, we're really excited. I think uh, Judd and the team, they've done a fantastic job taking a concept, building it out, getting feedback from the end users, getting feedback from the potential customer, and then making it a nice package that's really going to enhance patient safety, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to further that mission of everybody gets the great care.